Today I'm going to show you uh, how quickly we can get a basic inspection of a scan to a CAD model using Geomagic Control X 2020. So I'm going to start by importing both uh, the CAD, which is a step file, and the STL at the same time. We bring them into the standard result. They come in and the CAD model is aligned. Uh, the scan data is not uh, aligned yet. So the very first thing we normally do here is we do an initial alignment. And this is a, a bit of a rough alignment, but it's very fast. From here, uh, it's common to add a second step to alignment. We're just going to stick with best fit, but we have datum and, and uh, other specific RPS and things like that as well. Uh, but here I'm going to uh, hone in on uh, specific surfaces for the refinement of my alignment. So I'm going to basically, we're assuming that these are functional surfaces of some sort. So I'm going to pick the outer surfaces as well as the mounting holes on both sides of this part. It's very common that we use um, selected surfaces on a best fit rather than considering all surfaces because naturally certain surfaces are more important than others. So from here, you can see that things correspond visually uh, quite well. So now uh, the very first thing we're going to do is called a 3D compare. And 3D compare just basically applies the color scale to the gap between the scan data and the closest CAD surface. So the scan data points and the closest CAD surface. So we're going to do the calculation on the entire surface, limit it to a maximum of five millimeters. Um, I can easily set an asymmetrical color color bar. So we have the maximum range of a millimeter in the positive direction and two negative two, or two in the negative direction. And I'm applying a 0.1 millimeter tolerance. So that'll all be uh, green shaded. So then if I hit accept, from here, uh, we usually like to quantify with specific points of interest. So if we're looking at this and we see points of high or low deviation, we can add a comparison point and just anchor these wherever we want to in areas of either functional importance or where we see something that is important. So we can add a few of those. And hit accept. So now um, it's common that we want to look at things in section as well. So we're going to use 2D compare for that. Um, the 2D compare we're going to do along one of the standard axes. And I'm going to focus in on this area here where we have some local deviation. I'll set the same color bar range. And you can see here that I can turn on automatic tagging and this automatically will give me the maximum and minimum points as long as they're out of the tolerance band. Uh, from here, if we want to amplify the deviation, these are called whiskers, then we can add a scaling factor. Once we like what we see, we can also just manually add, for example, another, uh, um, another point. Uh, from here, we can really quickly generate a report. Control X works on templates, and I've set up the Rapid 3D template. These are all of the objects that we are by default going to include in the report. Um, reference data, measure data, initial alignment, best fit, 3D compare, comparison point one, and then the cross section. So we see here that we very quickly get a nice report. This is based on templates, or they're called layouts inside of Control X. And it gets us to a nice result in a, in a very fast manner. So there's our 3D compare. And you can see here we've tabulated some information about the 3D compare. And then here are the comparison points. And we've also tabulated all those tags. And then here we have the cross section.